Hey guys, Adam here with UI Design for Designers, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite elements of a website, the frozen header. Now we'll be doing this in the co-working space template within the Wix template store. Now a frozen header is simply a header that stays with you throughout the whole entire website visit. Okay, in this example you'll see it has the logo and the navigation menu, but it can also have uh, your contact information, a call to action, or whatever else your heart may desire. Now what's so great about a frozen header is that it's so simple, yet so powerful and effective because it has your logo in it, your navigation, a call to action, which can be very important, uh, your contact information or whatever else you may have in there, and it stays with you throughout the whole entire website visit. So it's always there reminding the visitor to click me, click me, click me. And also another benefit of it is if they're you know near the bottom of a page or if they're on an, an especially long page, they can just click the navigation right here to go to a new page without having to scroll all the way to the top of the page. Now, I call it the frozen header because that's what it's called in Wix, but you might hear it as a floating element within CSS or uh, it might go by another name within a different platform, but today we're going to call it a frozen header. Now, as I said, it's very easy to set up. All you have to do is go to the editor, right click on the uh, navigation menu or, or the header that is, and choose settings. From there, just click freezes and publish and you're all done. Okay, that's all you have to do. So let me know in the comments if you've implemented a frozen header, how it's worked, and just your overall experience with this uh, element. All right, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.